Well, the new Apex season is around the corner, and that means we're gearing up now for trailers and information about the brand new season, and we're hoping for a better one than this. Because there is a new legalized wall hack glitch in Apex, and if they don't patch this, then season 23 might as well already be chalked up. So firstly, Apex had put out a couple days ago showing this little teaser saying, be grateful you have a job, they said, hashtag riffs, hashtag job searching. And you've seen this whole rift vibe for a while. You could look up in the sky in Kings Canyon and know notice that the sky is breaking and that these rifts and different portals and dimensions and all this stuff have been in existence for a while on top of that they've been building up this anticipation it seems for this og vibe or og season because we found in the game files that many of these og weapons have been placed in the game files and we found that months ago and obviously these things are normally months out once they get added and so it kind of makes sense we've talked about in a separate video how the void weapon audio cues that were found in the game files might be these og weapons if they do an og season and being that everyone's already predicted this it could possibly be in season 23 to further back up this rift idea there was actually the confirmation from hypermiss that apex season 23 is actually going to be called from the rift some people seem to be jumping to conclusions and already forming emotions based on those saying that so og kings canyon is confirmed maybe we're going to an og version of the game but some were actually upset because they say that was the worst map in the game now if you play the actual og version of apex you'll probably know og kings canyon was actually amazing but only on og apex like before all these new legends got added now king's canyon just doesn't really work the map really just wasn't made with the new legends in mind and the movement capabilities that they have and some are saying that og is more of an eventful thing you do not a whole season type thing personally i'm here for it and i think it would definitely be a step in the right direction compared to where we are now i mean we're practically at rock bottom right now you can only go up from here you would think but it's also worth mentioning this glitch that could possibly ruin it all. You guys know that cheaters have already been ruining things for quite some time, but what if I told you we're looking at legalized cheats? Cheats that are literally in the game for you to exploit. Well, of course, it wasn't on purpose. However, players have now found that there is a new exploit that you can do with Valkyrie with the Dolphin Dive slash Valk Surf. It's the easiest glitch to do, and it's also giving your team complete wall hacks. So this glitch used to be a thing back in the day, but Valk's passive has also been updated a little bit, so there wasn't really that big of a need to do it. I guess, well, there was, but like not compared to what it is now. So this glitch allows you to basically exploit your ultimate ability as Val can get permanent scans through walls and track everybody pretty much at all times and basically it utilizes a couple of things of using the valk ult and unplugging your ethernet cord disconnect your internet all this crap plugging it back in and like if you do it right somehow this glitch happens i don't really want to go into it because i think it definitely is one that doesn't need to be exploited because the game is already bad enough as it is the long story short is this is what your screen could look like yeah your teammate is just permanently able to scan through every wall and scan where everybody's at not only just like basically wall hacks without any third-party software but it's also like a speed boost now on the other hand it is going to basically be a 2v3 the valk is pretty much useless but some might say that that 2v3 with basic wall hacks is probably a little bit easier but and i mean seriously a big butt here what if they can patch this glitch before season 23 drops and they can maybe stop some cheaters just a little bit they could put another little anti-cheat update out there real quick for me and then also they bring lifeline reborn and they bring an og king's cannon and they bring og weapons i'm honestly feeling pretty good about season 23 well i should emphasize compared to what we are now we, we are literally at the bottom i'm looking for the best comment to pin what is the absolute best case scenario that apex could take its game I'll read these and see which ones has the brightest future for apex because i think getting out of ea's hand maybe going to epic games doing a lot of crossovers for actual fun events adding actual good game modes upgrading server stabilities maybe doing some different anti-cheat protocols and maybe like gift rewards for the community members that are actually reporting people or getting people banned or reporting cheat softwares out there it's no secret we all agree apex needs a big shift in life every few years in your personal life you got to go through a big change whether it be a job change or a house move you have a baby you get married something big happens every few years apex is in desperate need of that big change we gotta do something i think it's time to get a divorce with ea if i'm honest but like it or love it season 23 right around the corner what are your thoughts on what we know so far let us know down below like and subscribe to stay up to date with all things apex legends news drama and story related until the next time folks we'll see you all later